Hi guys, today we are at the factory for Dodo Seafood. Did you know Dodo Seafood's fish balls are the first halal certified fish balls to be manufactured in Singapore? I'm a little curious, like why does fish balls need to be halal certified? So I'm going to meet my friend Lee Ming who works here and we're going to ask him more questions, okay? So I'm really excited now because I'm with Lee Ming. Yeah. Who's gonna take me through the entire production process of uh, Dodo's fish balls, fish cake, and Sarah's personal favorite, and that is the crab cake. But what he doesn't know is I'm actually uh, inspecting for halal matters. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're ready to go in. <laughs> Alright, we're in my favourite place in this whole factory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you come. The place where we make fish balls, right? Fish balls, right. So, can you explain to me how the fish ball is being made? So, the... here we have, we we'll add the surimi into the machine, the bowl cutter, where the surimi will be break into smaller pieces. What is surimi actually? Okay, surimi actually is a Japanese term yeah. uh, for minced fish meat. And this one we uh, import them from uh, overseas. Do they add any other things inside the ingredients other than the fish the meat? They will put sugar and uh, polyphosphate. This is actually to protect the quality of the fish meat or the proteins are in a frozen state. Last time Dodo was not halal certified, right? Uh, when we start off, we don't have the halal certificate yet. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the difference last time not halal certified and now that it's halal certified? So without the requirement of the halal certified, right? Yeah. So actually we don't check with our supplier. Lah. Oh. But now with the requirement of the halal certified, we have to get our supplier to also provide us with the halal cert. So it's like a chain reaction. You will start requesting from the suppliers the halal cert. And then the suppliers will also start checking on their side whether it's halal or not. Same as uh, food safety, like everything. Yeah, we start from the farm to fork. Yeah. So other than the fish meat, we have, we need to have salt, sugar, water, yeah, and a uh, little bit of energy. Unless we are talking about other type of products like uh, vegetable fish ball, uh. then we have to add uh, vegetable inside. Okay, so now we are uh, seeing this uh, fish paste. It looks very silky. It's very silky, yes, yes, and very soft to the touch. This is a fish ball forming machine. So actually, you can see the fish ball coming out uh, uh, at the bottom of the machine. And you go into this, uh, this uh, tank of water, uh, warm water. So at the end of the setting tank, the texture becomes stringier. Yeah, it's quite hot. Uh. I cannot eat this, it's too hot. Fresh because they just cooked it, you know. Okay, Jamaya, we are now in the crab stick processing room. Okay. Yeah, so this is the whole machine that we are using to produce our crab stick. So the golden question is is crab favorite stick crab? Uh, okay. <laughs> so this is uh, I think one of the misconceptions. Uh -huh. uh, crab flavor stick is actually made from fish meat, but we incorporate crab flavor. So that's why we term it as crab flavored stick. So we're here now, we have Dodo products, the fish noodles, the cheese tofu, is the crab meat. So good. Brings me back to my childhood. So if you guys want to enjoy all of this, which is really a complete set, uh, you guys can get this at shop.enjoydodo.com or you guys can also grab this at their store at Selita Mall. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, like, subscribe and follow me over at Instagram. Download the Halal app and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!